Don't forget again to save your drawings. So perform a Superman command by pressing Ctrl S to quickly save your drawings. And to complete the lat plan, we need to show the north direction by placing the north arrow on our plans. You could create your own north arrows, but for me, I will just use a ready-made north arrow from AutoCAD to save time. And in order to do that, we need to access the design center of AutoCAD. Either through this uh, view tab, and then on the palettes panel, we have here the icon for the design center. By the way, you can control or toggle on or off some of the items on your workspace. For example, here in the interface, we could uh, toggle off the file tabs. For example, this one, when I click this icon, it will uh, hide the file tabs. So I'll need to bring that up and also the layout tabs down at the bottom of our status bar but let's just uh, or let's just leave them shown on our interface and of course other elements for example the view cube i actually turned that off already and the navigation bar and i'm turning it off so that it will not clutter my space you can also toggle off the ucs here okay so it hides the UCS, but uh, just leave it there to remind us of our Cartesian planes. And of course, among others, okay? But our main concern is this design center for the meantime. You can simply click this icon for the design center, just so, to bring out the design center palette. So design center, and you can organize access to your drawings these are actually pre-installed with your software and it comes bundled to your software and each drawing has blocks and other uh, drawing elements that you could insert towards your drawing so in a way you have a uh, compendium or you have some center for organizing these elements so we could insert blocks other elements for example including layers dimension styles even text styles including other elements but what we need for now is on blocks okay so on blocks under landscaping we have here the north arrow so i'll click on the north arrow and that's how it's uh, going to show on our drawing area so just click and drag so click hold and then drag the north arrow towards your drawing area and then release to drop it down your drawing area okay and we will be using this a lot to insert uh, some of your blocks that you have created and some of the textiles or line types including dimension styles that you have created from other drawings okay so this is a very useful tool for us so for now let's just close it let's reaccess it using the uh, keyboard shortcut a d c for the design center and then enter and there you could access it through your keyboard shortcuts but the quickest way to access this powerful tool is through our control key on our keyboards. So just close this first. And so far, we have already covered control 0 to clean our screen, control 1 to bring out the properties palette, and control 9 to hide or unhide our command line window. And now, our concern is on Design Center Palette. So, we could access that by simply pressing Control and 2. Okay? There are other control keys that would access some of those you can see on the View tab. For example, the Tool Palette, which is very useful also. That has some pre 
installed or pre-drawn drawing elements and blocks in AutoCAD that you could simply drag and drop onto your drawings. But unfortunately, it's beyond the content of our module because of limited time. Okay, so let's go back to AutoCAD and perform Control and then 2 to access the design center. We just close it and let's see our inserted north arrow. In comparison to the size of our lat plan, I think it's too small. Okay, let's look back at our reference. And I think this is better sized, okay, than what we see on our drawing area. 